Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. Since a rule is meant to operate in default, where the rule is absent, it stands to reason that what it was meant to enforce is automatically present. While I was in high school, I was taught the concept of the rule of law for the first time by my passionate but late government teacher, Mr. Econ. He always emphasized on equality before the law as man is made equal before God. That a lawless society is close to anarchy and could disintegrate at any given point in time. These lessons still hold true for me today. Fast forward 13 years later, Nigeria has become a nation struggling under the bane of lawlessness. Elected officials who are answerable to the people commit illegal acts with no repercussions. Rapists run amok, destroying the lives of young women, and our government has nothing to say than to constitute tax forces and take pictures to present a facade of busyness. The legislatures who create the laws should not be the ones to break them. Take, for instance, the case of lawmakers who returned from trips abroad and refused to self-isolate in the light of COVID-19. Or let's even take, for instance, the recent case of Naira Mali and BBN alumni Kimopra. And the Play Network, who, you know, flouted the COVID-19 protocols, impersonated a government official, and even hosted a concert right here in Abuja, where I am, with no social distancing, no maps, no what, nothing whatsoever. And they, up till now, are not being held accountable for their actions. Public officials and celebrities are not gods and the rule of law must take effect. We must shun and dismantle this system, which only detects that the law is for the poor and the petty thief. Everyone, be they rich or poor, must obey the rules that hold the fabric of society together, because as it stands, that fabric is all but destroyed. Thank you, Nafisa. Um, again, I think it, it, in a way, your, your, I think your advocacy your reminds advocacy. me of mine. Yeah. And, and, and what I was going through my head is we need to remind ourselves when we make excuses for our behavior here that the people abroad, the people in other climes, they don't have two heads. I know we, we started with a deficient system, but the fact that it works with other human beings elsewhere means it can work with us. You know? So even though the only area I would dispute with what you've said is I'm not quite sure it's it's been shown that the rich are having it better than the poor overall. Because I know, you know some of the rich, I remember the lady who was um, imprisoned or at least charged, uh, what's her name? You know, you guys know, because she flouted the rules of Funke Akinde. Funke Akinde. Oh. So, you know, yeah. we had, and they made an example of her. And what became yeah. Badamose's fit? Mm -hmm. uh, but the point is, I'm, I'm saying, yes, the I'm not sure. Yeah. But you know there is fit. a difference between being rich and yeah. being rich and connected. Okay, so it's connections exactly. now. I mean, but yeah. Yeah. but I, I, I sympathize with, I, I think what people need to see is that the same rule applies across board. It's, it's more about, you know, the morale. If people can see that you're not distinguishing, you're not, you're not uh, selecting those you favor, then even that impression alone exactly. is enough to make people feel that justice is being done. I'll leave it at exactly, that for now. It looks right now like as if they are selecting who, you know, they sell justice. Yeah. Take for instance, Nara Mali and Badamusi, they didn't go to court. They were, they, I think they just paid a sum of money and they were left off the hook. Right imagine? now, as we speak, Naira Mali is the second time offender, but he's still running free and tweeting all sorts of things that if he drops a song today, that everywhere will scatter. That's the problem I you have know, with the system. We're, we're, we're yeah, not, uh, see, let's, let's it's selective. tell ourselves. And it's shameless as well. But for Naira Mali and Badamos, they actually went to court, but they said they forgave them and Naira Mali is supposed to serve some form of community service you see? and all that. Yeah. Okay. And um, so... That's why he's committing the offense again. It's mm -hmm. the same offense. Yes. He committed one in Abuja. So he's not sorry. Forgiven. Yeah. Even though Fuki Akindele and the husband were, were charged and 
penalty pronounced, mm -hmm. he was forgiven, and then he's gone to Abuja to commit the same offense again. Yes. He will be forgiven no probably. And then he will he go do to Kano again. and commit the offense. He will be he even knew. He maybe Kano's. even calculated it when he went and ahead then, and did the... And so the airline was suspended. And then, you know, I think, uh, was it the pilot or some people were arrested? Mm -hmm. And now the people who they said deceived them still, uh, you know, are out there. And so that's why I always say when there are no consequences yeah. for any action, yeah. It, it becomes yeah. lawlessness, and you don't expect me to be law abiding in a state of lawlessness. <laughs> so, but you're well, putting, you know, you're putting it back on his But you know, you said something. Yes, you said the law has to be seen to be impartial yes, for yes. all. But in See, this what, case now, actually, this one in points where you are seeing Naramali not even focusing on um, flouting the, the protocols and focusing on the executive jet people calling him useless. Imagine. Because he doesn't exactly. even understand the consequences of his own of action. His action. Yeah. But if he did, then he wouldn't have the time. Or the energy to start. No, he understands. So I to bring in Sage because I hear he understands the consequences. Mm. What? Yes, I want to add that you know they say the leadership of every nation is the reflection of its people. Now, if we're seeing uh, our leaders go scot free with all this carefree attitude, I mean, what stops me from you know doing anything I want as well? Yeah. We Yoruba people say that way. We're in chaos right now, guys. Chaos in the country. So how do There's we get no it one. right, Seidu? How do we get it right? How do we get it right? Yeah. It's by choosing the right people and, and you know, let the right people come out and uh, to, to vie for elective office. Hmm. But should we start to, by holding Libros accountable? If you have, He's representing you have the, legal, the legal Should we start by he, holding he, Libros? I have consistently said it. Consistently. I don't spare my, my, my constituency. I have maintained... Anytime I have the opportunity to, to tell you that, yes, here you say the windmill of justice grinds slowly but surely. But we forget that justice delayed is justice denied. You need to marry the two. And it is people that enforces these rules. It is people that are judges. It is people that are police. It is people that are prosecutor. And, investig and prosecutor, like prosecution that we say, like we say, starts from investigation mm. until we understand it from that point of view where there are consequences. Yeah. There are monitoring and enforcement of rules. Yeah. Who polices the police? Yeah. You know, we can't. We, we, have, we need to have those systems. Take, for example, like Seydou of said, accountability. Naramali does it today, yeah, and yeah, nothing happens. Next thing you will hear that Bonaboy will want to do it. After all, <laughs> yeah. Naramali did it. Yeah. It now become a, an open challenge. Yeah. Who will yeah. deceive a, a, a airline? So now Naramali has got, gotten off it, it seems. What can we do to now call out the people who've let Naramali off? You asked them, say, do the same question. Yeah. And I want to respond to Please. what he has said. Because mm. if you say um, we should get the right leaders elected, let's look at Nigeria as a whole and what our political system is saying. What are the chances of that right candidate? Get it. Did you vote in the last election? election? I did. Did you vote? Mm -hmm. And when you voted, mm -hmm. you waited to see. No, I didn't know. You see now? So if everybody who went to vote Has waited, yes. how would that be? Because you are in a desperate situation. Okay, right? I think this, I waited. We have I counted to, the votes. We have to wrap up. And where did it get you? But please, let's, take, let's take it to the next. Let's take it to the somewhere. next segment.